Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Ronnie Gosson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Thursday, April 21st, 2022. Now it's time to take a brain break. Inhale as you visualize going up one side of the box, gradually filling your lungs with air. When you reach the top, Hold your breath for one to five seconds as you picture going across the top of the box. Exhale gradually as you imagine traveling down to the other side of the box. Pause again for one to five seconds as you go along the bottom of the box. So relax with us next time for our next brain break and SL technique. That was just what I needed to start off the great day. Now let's go to the word of the day. So Aiden, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out this weekend. Yeah, we can hang out. My schedule is very malleable. Really? I thought you would be really busy. Well, I do have stuff to do, but I can change up my schedule a bit. Well, I'm happy your calendar is malleable so you can make some time for me. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word, word of, of the, the Day. day. Learning new words help keep my mind malleable. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thanks, Wani. Sports fans, can you imagine retiring at only 25 years old? This is what Australian tennis player Ash Barty did just a month after winning the Australian Open. After winning three titles, she made the decision to retire from professional tennis early. The young athlete has now decided that she wants to take up a golf club and will be joining a team of sports stars at the Icon Series debut U.S. event. She will be among legends like Michael Phelps and Oscar De La Hoya. Is there anything this girl can't do? Now let's see what's cooking with Sonia. Thank you, Scott. The lunch today sure is delish. Today's lunch is Dutch waffle with sausage, tropical veggie juice, diced pears, syrup, and your choice of milk. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's go back to body. Thank you, Sonia. I can't wait for lunch. It sounds amazing. Tomorrow is the last day for NWA testing. Our 6th to 8th graders have their math NWA tomorrow. Good luck! Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Scholars, get your smiles ready. Picture day is on Monday. Make sure to dress to impress in your Monday uniform. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. I hope it's nice and sunny. Thank you, Vani. Hey, Patriots. We'll be experiencing a high of 82 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. Looks like a nice day to try something new. In other weather news, New York had an amazing light show. Heavy wet snow and strong winds from a coastal storm caused power flashes. Bright colors of red, teal, blue, green, and purple were showcased. More than 200,000 people lost power during that storm. If you look on the bright side, even though many people lost power, they were given light from nature. Now let's go to Yosdani for our video game segment. Hello there Patriots, welcome back to BVG. Today's video game of the week is Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This game can be found on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, and Nintendo Switch. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is a LEGO themed action adventure video game based on the popular series Star Wars. This game is a combination of all Star Wars movies and each chapter has its own unique experience. It has a fully explorable world and a galaxy map. When you play the game you are able to unlock character favorites from the Star Wars universe like Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Anakin Skywalker, Leia Skywalker and more. 
When playing, you are transported to different episodes of Star Wars. For example, The Clone Wars or Return of the Sith. While you're there, you do missions and fight the dark side with the Force, or you can do side missions to unlock other characters and get more studs, also known as in-game currency. This game doesn't have a difficulty selection. The difficulty of the game changes depending on the settings that you change. They really took the graphics of the game to the next level. The combat is fluid, especially when the lightsabers clash. There is so much detail like sparks, flashes of lights, and more. It's great fun seeing all of the iconic Star Wars scenes made in a unique LEGO way, especially when you are able to fly starships and X-Wings through space. This experience has a massive amount of replay value. There are a lot of side quests to complete and an unbelievable 380 characters to unlock and hidden collectibles. And you are able to play any of the 9 current Star Wars films. This game is very enjoyable to play by yourself or with friends. There are so many unique experiences like riding vehicles, animals, and the ability to explore the open world map. I would give this game a 10 out of 10 because of the sheer scope of it. Star Wars The Skywalker Saga covers 9 Star Wars films and it is also the biggest LEGO game out there. It's also top contender for game of the year. Here are some pros and cons. That's all for this week, Patriots, and may the Force be with you. That was great, Yos Donnie. That is very interesting. Today's birthday boys and girls are Leonel Picciato, Victor Cristomo, and Aiza Imran. Happy birthday. Let's go back to Vani. Thank you, Destiny, and happy birthday, Patriots. Here are your Pat's expectations. They represent present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Blanc. Miss Stone, Miss Velez, Miss Dorstel, Miss Chang, Miss Gonzalez, Miss June, Miss Only, Miss Mitchell, and Miss Ian Dankwa. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, What is the softest mineral in the world? The correct answer is talk. Now, teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question Which country produces the most coffee in the world? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. In order for your response to be reviewed, everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!